Hello all, my name is Vibhav Soshi. I welcome you all to another set of videos on DOSCA shortcuts. In this video, we will learn some of the shortcuts from the execution list section. So let's quickly jump on to DOSCA to learn more on it. So this is my execution list section. Before beginning with the shortcuts, first I will create an execution list folder inside this folder. Uh, there is no shortcut for it to, to create it, uh, to create a short uh, execution list folder. I will create a folder and I will name it as shortcuts on execution list section now inside this uh, execution list folder i will create an execution list and a shortcut for it is control n e so now my execution list has been created now i will link my test case to my execution list section you might have seen in the test case section that there are two ways to add a test step to a test case the one way is to drag and drop the module from the module section the other way is to uh, press ctrl t and uh, search for your module right so here the ctrl t option won't be used okay so we have to drag and drop our test case so th this is my test case which i'm going to use it for this demonstration i will drag and drop this to my execution list okay so now insert my execution list I have linked my test case now I will run this test case from the beginning from the execution list the shortcut is F6 so my execution has been started this browser opened okay and now it is closed my execution has been passed okay now let's try to run this one more time okay Again, the browser open it will wait for four seconds and it will close the execution has been passed okay now as you can see that inside this execution list I have two logs present like twice I have ran this application and which if any of the test steps failed it will it will be displayed over here okay now if you want to delete this history like I don't want like how many times I have ran the test case I don't want to see the logs I can delete the logs also press uh, select this execution list and press ctrl L so as you can see that logs has been removed okay so these are some of the shortcuts we have seen it from the execution list section hope you have liked the video thank you so much thank you for watching this tutorial here at the Tricenters Academy, we aim to provide you with educational services that suit your needs, including role-based trainings where you can become certified specialists, video tutorials, MOOCs and more. To learn more about the Academy, visit www.tricenters.com forward slash academy.